What is going on my dudes one step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to havoc in mortal kombat 1 Giving you some tips and tricks that you should know some best strategies to put in place And of course some fun and easy combos that you can learn today Take it one step at a time as we get started, my dudes, make sure you subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use just so everybody knows what we're talking about. Now, let's start off with the bread and butter, Havoc's normals and his specials, okay? So when it comes to mix-ups, Havoc's got some pretty good options. You have your 1-1-2 one, one, combo, that's an overhead ender, and I just love that your head explodes in the process. You have 4 to 1, 2 2, that's an overhead as well. Unfortunately, it's not cancelable, but it's still pretty good for an overhead. He has 2 2 for an overhead as well. It's a 2 button input, but you saw there it's 3 hits. For some lows, he has a 4 to 1, 3 combo. Back 2 2, 4 is also a low. Back 2 2, you're gonna use quite a bit. And the reason why is you have back 2 2, 4 for the low. But then you also have back 2 2 grab for a command grab. And the reason why that's so cool is because it's actually command grab. So you see our opponent here, they're blocking. When we do back 2-2 two, two grab, we're still going to grab them. It's a great way to block confirm, meaning, okay, my opponent's blocking. Do I want to go for the low or do I want to go for the grab? He's also got his 4-4-3 four four combo. That's two lows in a row, but the most important part there is that 4-4 four four is cancelable to some specials. So for those that have a keen eye that have paid attention so far, you'll notice that all of Havoc's strings, all of his combos, aren't really setups. He doesn't have a way to actually set his opponent up in the air or continue into a special or a combo. Like you can't go 2-2 two, two into a back 2-3 or something like that. His combo strings are more or less just enders and fun mix-ups to keep your opponent guessing. Like if you want to go 4-1-3 to one, three, and then dash up and do 1-1-2 one, one, for the overhead. But there's a reason to this. Havoc's got some pretty interesting special moves. First and foremost is his projectile back forward 1. You see there, there's kind of an animation to give our opponent a warning, but if we enhance it, it goes around the screen, travels around them, and allows for a pop-up if hit. Why it's so good enhanced, it allows you the time to dash up and go for the pressure, make them kind of guess what to do. We also have back forward three, tear our head off, turns into a heat seeker projectile that yes, absolutely seeks your opponent no matter where they're at on screen. It'll follow them, it'll find them, and allows for a great pop-up. Very slow on startup, so it's very unsafe, but if hit, it's pretty dang good. You don't wanna throw that out there just for funsies. You wanna throw it out there when you got good knockdown and you wanna use this for Oki. For those that don't know what Oki is, it's just a term that we use for pressure when your opponent's knocked down. So let's say you do a combo, right? Like one, one, two. Then you can just go back forward to one, while they're coming up and trying to figure out what to do, because that 1-1-2 one, one, combo creates that space. Look, we are almost full screen. So for most characters, most opponents, you might have the time, you get it, you wanna make this decision pretty fast, but you might have the time to do back forward three to then put the pressure on the field. Fun side note about your back forward one projectile, see how close we are to our opponent? It's not gonna travel around, it's like, kinda like what to hear. If we're in a combo or close to our opponent, it's just gonna come out. So you can do back two, two, back forward one, and it connects for a pop-up. Then you can do four to one, two after that, or back four, two. Like so. So you can see a lot of our specials here so far besides our back forward two, that's pretty quick, which is nice. But a lot of them are gonna be used for Oki. Like you wanna knock your opponent down, throw it out there to create the pressure. Same with your projectile. And even your down back one, it's a pop-up and that's great, but you saw how slow on startup that was. Believe it or not, it is a full 59 frames on startup. It is truly insane because that's basically just a full-on one second, which is quite a long time in fighting games. So you can see so far that Havoc doesn't have a crazy ton of stuff going on, but he does some pretty good damage with these simple combos and simple specials. So if you throw it out there, you get the pop-up. Your down back one is a pop-up. Your back forward with three is a pop-up. And your back forward one enhanced is also a pop-up. So while your opponent is in the air, you see here we have three main options for our aerial attacks, our air combos. We have one, two, three. We got two, one, two, and we have two, four. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna be using two, one, two probably 90% of the time. And the reason why is because two, one, two out of those three is the only combo that bounces your opponent back up to continue a combo. And who doesn't want more damage? And the reason why you're gonna use two, one, two the most for more combo extension and more damage is because Havoc has no aerial special 
special so there's no special to go into in the air that sometimes for most characters you know one aerial combo might be better to go into a different air special and so on havoc doesn't really have that going on for him so for example if we do our down back one for a pop-up we're gonna do two one two you see that pop-up we can continue the combo if we wish to whereas the other options like one two three don't really give us that option same with our two four in the air again it's great but i want more damage right so you'll probably be using two one two the most often and either go into a special or your four to one two combo or back two two and doing those combos of course you're going to end with a hard knockdown and that's great for havoc because he wants to create that pressure with his slow startup specials so let's say we hit this right we jump up we do a combo we do two one two four to one two knock down back four to one for the pressure then go in for again you can kind of see the pieces coming together of like why you might want to stop a combo midway calm down and do a special a couple side notes about his specials his back four two that's great it is blockable it's not a true command grab but what's interesting about it is you can enhance it now keep in mind enhancing it takes two bars so it's kind of a lot but here's what it does we create this tether between us and our opponent and in doing so we can then do back forward two again and it's unblockable it's an unblockable move like truly unblockable like even if our opponent's jumping they can't do anything about it so here's what i'm talking about my opponent's gonna jump here we'll enhance it right then we'll wait for them to jump we'll do back forward two again and it stops them right in their tracks. It's an unblockable 30 damage hit, but the most important part about it is it creates a stun in your opponent, allowing you to combo some more or go into a fatal blow. So if we stun our opponent with this, we can then go into a combo. So though the two bars might be worth spending, again, they can block it. So you wanna make sure you use that probably in a combo of some sort. I'd recommend something like this. Your back two, two, back forward one projectile into your back forward two enhanced special. Then when they're down, you got the tether, do the tether, then go in for another special. Havoc's best wake up options are going to be your down back one enhance. You gain armor on it. So I'll show you how it looks. If we gain armor, we do down back one enhance. You see there we have kind of a stun allowing us to continue a combo. But the move has a different property. If you enhance it and you get the armor, if you get hit during that armor state, you get a different property, a different ending to that hit. Here's what I mean by that. We're gonna enhance it on a wake up. You'll see what I mean. See how we got hit during the armor state and rather than stun our opponent, we just knock him to the ground. The game recognized you got hit during the armor. It's not gonna reward you for it. Instead, it's just gonna allow you to knock your opponent down. So it's a good wake up attack because it kind of gets your opponent off you, sure. But back forward too is also pretty good because it's pretty quick. You get that sweet tether for follow-ups. So again, the best strategies that I can recommend with Havoc is when doing combos, keep in mind when your opponent's hard knocked down and that spacing you want to create, then allow yourself to do other special moves to create more pressure. One of your staple moves is going to be your enhanced back forward two move to create that tether that's unblockable follow up that allows you for more combo extension or a fatal blow. So really, if you have the good OK, you do back forward three and it actually connects. You can do your back forward to enhance and now you're all set up ready to rock pretty simple straight and to the point now let's get into some fun and easy combos that you can learn today
guys let me know down below what do you think of havoc in mortal kombat 1 do you like him do you hate him are you gonna main him let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time